I have wasted countless hours waiting to download Xcode, but there's actually a much quicker way to do it. There are two ways to achieve these super fast downloads up to five times faster than downloading in the Apple App Store. There is either the Xcode's command line integration or the Xcode's app. Very important, not the Xcode app, the Xcode's app. I started with the command line interface, but switched to the GUI app a few months ago. Both work the exact same way. The GUI is just a bit more pleasant and easier to use. So head to xcodes.app and download the app. Once you have it open, make sure to sign in with your Apple developer account up here in the toolbar. And then you can select which version you want to install and the list is actually endless. It goes back all of the Xcode versions that ever were released up to version 1.0, which I obviously don't have installed right now. It probably doesn't even run on my Mac anymore. It was released on 28th of September 2003, so almost 20 years ago. But of course, we don't care about these very old versions. We care about the newest versions. And if it's, for example, DC day right now and you're waiting for the newest Xcode version to release, you can just refresh the list up here and then make sure to grab the newest version and hit install over here on the right hand side. This installing and download process will be three to five times faster because it uses a tool called ARIA2, which uses up to 16 streams of actually downloading the app for you. So yeah, it will save you hours and hours over the course of your Apple development lifespan. Of course, this tool also makes it super easy to have multiple versions of Xcode installed, which I have for most of the year. Right now, I only have the newest version, which is 14.3 as of the date of this recording, but once Startup DC comes around, I will keep 14.3 to be able to release updates for my apps right now. But I will, of course, install the developer betas for Xcode 15 once they are available so I can play around with the new APIs and work on some future updates for my apps as well. One thing to note here is that once you have multiple versions of Xcode installed, you have to select one of those versions and click the active button over here or make active. That way, when you use the command line tool XED dot to open an Xcode project in command line or some other system features like just double clicking an Xcode project file, this version of Xcode will then be used to open that project. So make sure to set the version of Xcode to be active that you want to use by default, basically. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and also let me know in the comments which version of Xcode you are downloading right now.